Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have some really exciting things. You're actually looking at me through my brand new camera. We're not recording on my phone anymore, which is so exciting and it just feels so nice to have this. So I wanted to just do my nails. Same thing we've been doing. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, here are my nails on my camera, which you can see here. You're actually looking here through my phone. This has made my life so much easier. Like my workspace is really like coming together and I'm feeling really good about it. And so here are my nails. This was a little princess set that I did, which I lost footage to. I'm so sorry. That was the motivation behind getting the camera because when I was recording things on my phone, it was just like causing problems. So we're here now, we're gonna move forward and so far I'm loving it. What I am gonna do is chop off these because I wanna do this hand because my brain had a thought, rare occasion that that happens. I wanted to try a new way of application to see if it works. So with that, let me cut these off real quick, get that done and I'll be right back. All right, so I have this all filed down. Basically what I do when something like this is I have a protective base layer, which you've seen me put on. Uh, when I'm filing my nails off, I just file down to that layer and there is base coat under the layer. So if I get something like that, I'm still not drilling into my nail. I'm just getting into that base coat. But what I wanna do is use these tips. These are the same tips that I've used for these. However, I'm lazy. So what I wanna do is try to use these dual forms from McCart with them. Like, so I wanna put the tip on, put the gel in the dual form and then put that on the tip. We'll see if that works. I'm hoping it does. Here, we'll put those off to the side. I will size my tips out here real quick. So I have my tips sized here and then we're gonna take our dual forms and try to match them up. So this is the largest size that I have, but what I plan on doing is putting the nail on and then putting the dual form on, kind of like that, which should, it does perfectly fit inside there, which should make my life really easy. So what I want is to find a larger size than the nail. And then like, I think this one technically is a three, whereas this is a zero and it can kind of really easily create that arch. We're gonna try it, we're gonna see if it works. So I'm gonna match these up real quick. I have my tips and my sizes all laid out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Kiss Nail Glue and just attach my tips. So we have all five tips on. What we're gonna do now is just take away the shine from them. I'm gonna be using a rough sanding band and just take that off. I'm also going to take away any ridges that the nail may have made when like being attached. All right, so I went and grabbed out the poly gels I'm looking to use. I'm in the mood for like blues and greens. So we're gonna be using some of these. I have two Sabi Land ones and then one McCart one. I also have alcohol here as my slip solution. And what we're gonna do is first see how this fits. It looks like there's enough space there to actually build a nail. And then once we have it built, our cuticle area we'll just fill in, which should be super easy. So what I'm gonna do here is also, because these are dual forms, you have to work on them backwards. And then like our press-ons, I'm just gonna put the dual form on a little stand just to make things a little easier. That way we're not touching 
things in gel. But the first thing I wanna do is put a little base coat on here. Not too much, something kinda easy and simple. I am thinking about taking some of this blue glitter. Y'all know I love to strategically place glitters. I'm gonna pour a little out like so, and we're just gonna put those in. gel is getting really hard to squeeze out but I am going to just then place that in there I'm just gonna pat it in evenly in the form all right I have that done what I'm gonna do is flip it over we're gonna place it on here, line it up with our nail, gently push it down, and I am going to hold it and cure it. All right, that's actually not bad. It has some thickness to it. Um, I do need to kind of cut that down a little, as well as just file the sides, but those are very minor. So that turned out better than I expected. I'm gonna quickly do the cuticle and then we'll do just a quick filing. All right, so here's the first nail. It's not the worst. I've done like way worse nails. It's a new process. Let's see how the other nails go. Granted, like I got a really rough shape in a matter of 15 seconds. So I'm not mad at it, but let's keep going. Next, we're gonna work on my pointer finger here. And I'll get my little stand. One downside I am seeing is that with like glitter and designs like that, if you start to file into that, you're gonna file into the glitter, which can pose an issue. But that's with regular dual forms, so you're gonna run into that. I do want to do some color blocking. I, I don't do a lot of color blocking. I'm also not good at it. this. Let's try to stick this on. All right, and I'm going to cure that. All right, so that is cured and we're going to go ahead and pop it off. All right, that's not terrible. One thing, yeah, is it can bulge here at the top, but we have a good apex with some room for filing. I'm not mad at that. Let me quickly do this cuticle and then we'll move on to the next one. Right, and now we're on to the third nail. I will say like this process is going by very fast. I know I'm like editing things out, but in real time, this is actually like really easy. I do want to 
do an ombre. So, and I'm, I think I'm just challenging myself with poly gel art. Gel art in general is always hard for me. It's hard in general. Like, I've been doing my nails for a hot minute now and it's still something that's daunting. Practice makes perfect and I haven't done like ombres or things like that in a while. So, I'm gonna squeeze that out. All right, and then I'm thinking this dark blue, maybe. All right, and then we'll flip it over. And I am just kind of lining it up where the tip connects to the nail. All right. I'm going to pop this off. It's not like the best ombre, but it's also not the worst. So let me fill in the cuticle as we've been doing. All right, we are on to our fourth one. I'm trying to think here, maybe do like a swirl design or some kind of marbling. Maybe that's a better term. All right, and I'm gonna try my best to kind of swirl these together. And we'll squish that down. All right, and we're gonna pop this off. That's actually kind of cool. Again, it's squishing out through the top, but that's something we can easily file. Um, and now we are just onto the last nail. And I think what I'm going to do is do um, just one more solid one to kind of match the thumb. I am gonna file away that glitter. I don't like it, but that'll be easy. It's right on top. We have five uh, rough nails here. Um, let's see if we can file these to be a little bit better. All right, so one filing session later, this is what we ended up with. It's not the worst for a nail set that was done in like half an hour. I filed, shaped, and buffed these uh, as best as I could. I think you kind of run into some problems with the dual form. If the dual form's not on straight, then the whole nail will kind of get shifted. Obviously, like, I'm a perfectionist, so I look at things like that. You know, I, I don't want to walk around with raggedy nails, and I don't want you walking around with raggedy nails, so. But design-wise, I think these are good. I am going to just top coat these and then put some cuticle oil on. I got most of the glitter out of the thumb. I'm just gonna ignore it. I, like, I'm not super worried. All right, so final thoughts. These are, these are cute. New technique, strange. Like I like anything with nails, the second you try something new, you're gonna be at square one again. I think if you are someone who uses dual forms, like actively, this could really help you get like longer nails, especially those like the McCart dual forms specifically, I think are great because uh, they give you that room to play around. I'm not mad at them, but yeah, I'll keep these on for a while. But with that, I hope you enjoyed it. This is probably one of the fastest nail sets I've ever done, like lengthwise. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.